What is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be spectating random players in Fortnite Zero Build, going over what they do well and what they could do differently. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more. And if you guys are interested, there will be a video linked down in the description below that I filmed for the Ghost Gaming Fortnite channel. I joined Ghost Gaming uh, a few months ago and I, we post, you know, Fortnite videos on the Fortnite channel. Uh, we recently did hide and seek on the reload map and I think the video turned out very good It's something very different from what I normally post as far as content goes But if you are interested in something different like that or seeing how that would go uh, The link for that will be in the description down below And uh, like I said, I think the video came out pretty good I'm just gonna land straight on Megalodon this game and see what happens because a lot of people do like to land on these bosses on patrol and you have a few options you can kind of land on a nearby structure try to get some loot some people like to land on the car and start pickaxing the boss some people like to land on the bus kind of pickaxe somebody off that get control of the bus emp the boss car uh it seems like this person is going to be going for the battle bus come on bro you got me Right. I'm on board with Leo now. So he got control of the battle bus, and then now he's going to just eliminate the boss. And the guard's probably getting the boss guard. He's going to take advantage of this in the grenade launcher. And this is one way that you can quickly get an elimination on one of the bosses and quickly get that medallion and mythic item if they're on control. But the problem is going to be if anybody else comes to third party this location. Well, right now he just goes to the car away from himself. So this is bad. What I was going to say is if anybody else comes to third party this, you see the player that we're spectating has literally no loot at all. They have no shield, they have no weapons, they have no anything. And so their entire game plan is dependent on eliminating the boss and then getting away with the medallion and the mythics. If this player steals the mythics, then the game goes south quickly. Or if maybe they have to fight in between eliminating the boss and getting the thing or after it. If somebody pulls up with EMPs like this, then very quickly game can go south for leo and so that is kind of the risk you take when it comes to landing directly on the boss car itself and that's personally why i don't like to do that and i would rather kind of land somewhere and loot up and get it later but that you know some people do like getting it right away and i think the huge mistake that cost i think his name was leo the first player we were spectating the first mistake that really cost him was like getting out of the boss car and having it roll away from him just kind of like ruined his timing and like that's the game over. This person, there's an AI here, so it doesn't matter. But if that was a real player, being way too tunnel vision on the loot may have cost them. And so, DLB trap man just melees the AI to death. Now they should be able to get the medallion, get the mythic shotgun if they want it. They're taking way too long to loot here. I don't like this. Somebody's gonna pull up and take the medallion. Or just eliminate them. Like, I, I don't know what's going on here. Alright, they finally got their medallion somehow. I don't know how they're still alive in this game, though. Like, that is astounding to me. And so, like I talked about before with the first player we were spectating and how the, his limited loot leaves him very vulnerable if, like, he gets bad timing after eliminating the boss. The same is true once you've gotten a little bit of loot as well. Just, like, as soon as you eliminate the boss and get the medallion and get the mythic item, I think you just want to get out of there as fast as possible. Like, I don't even remember what he was, like, fumbling around trying to get a burst SMG. But, like, yeah. That goes for any point in the game when you eliminate somebody. You want to just loot as fast as possible and get out of there. But it's especially true when you're dealing with, like, a boss and a mythic item. Because, like, clearly people are going to be coming to third party that. So, just in general at all times, I, I think being aware of... Alrighty then, GG's. We're on board with the only drift. Being aware of, like, what you want... I think makes it so much easier for you to like loot quickly when the time does come. Like if you have to sit around and think about like, oh, would I rather have the Thunder Burst or the Attack AR? Uh, it's going to be hard for you. I feel bad for this player. I feel bad for both of these players actually. Because like this John Wick just had like the biggest struggle ever trying to pick up the medallion there. And then that player that's in the car there was the same one that was initially shooting the alien. And I just like don't even know how... They didn't eliminate the alien early on. I also feel bad for that John Wick there because he thought the shield bubble was going to save him from the Magneto. And that is actually not true, as you see there. 
the Magneto just easily goes through the shield bubble, no problem. Now we're on board with YF, YTF shots. I think you would want to just get out of here and reset this fight, but the thing is, he doesn't have the gloves for some reason. Could Magneto the car, but like then he's still just really exposed to 20 HP. He needs to get out of here. I don't know where the mythic gloves are. I'm assuming they're just still from the, uh, like down by the boat where the alien died. And even take a look at this player's inventory. They have 20 health, no heals, a white gatekeeper, a green enforcer AR. This is just a, a, another player who didn't quite land on the boss, but he landed near the boss to try to third party it. And then his entire game is just shambles. He can go get the treasure map here and it'll give him two big pots, which will make his game significantly better. Like as far as his HP goes. But I think we're on the third or fourth player I've spectated in this video and we have not found somebody who's like in a stable state in the game because landing on the boss area is so chaotic and that's like I said already like that's why I personally choose not to land on like the bosses on patrol typically I like landing near them and getting them afterward but landing on it is such an all or nothing play and some people are down to just like land on the boss and if they get it cool if they don't and have to like go next that's fine too for them and I, I kind of understand that but yeah like getting it you're not out of the woods yet I get, it's like regardless of how you land you have to do the same thing like you have to get loot and then and get the mythics and it's like if you land somewhere else and then go for the boss on patrol you get your loot and then get the mythics and the medallions but if you land on the medallions it's like you get the medallions first and then you have to worry about getting loot later on And your likelihood of getting third party is pretty high. Seems like he's going for the treasure map though. He had it out. So I think he's going to go for it. I don't know if he's going to use any of the items for it. Or if he just wants the big pots. Let me know in the comments below. If you knew that the shield bubble didn't block the uh, Magneto. Or if you learned that from this video. Because I actually learned that from like a Mythbusters like TikTok. I think when they first came out. But yeah, I was aware that the shield bubble was not going to stop the Magneto. There's under him. I don't hear anything though. So I think they're just chilling under him. Like directly under him. Like, I would really want to get those gloves. Like this player should be aware that the alien died on the boat and that the mythic gloves should be over there. Because this was the one that was initially chasing him in the car. Okay, there's some gloves. Does he take them? Okay, thank you. If he... I, I would drop the... He's going to use this and then get the gloves. Personally, I would just drop the treasure map and then get Cactus on the way. I, I don't think the treasure map is really that big of a deal. Like, two big pots is nice. But, like, if he just plays the game, he's going to find heals, you know? Mythic gloves should be here unless somebody else already got them. This player that's right here may have picked them up. I'm not sure why he's trying to run them over so much because running them over doesn't do that much damage. And they're just getting the cannon and then they're gone. GG's. EMP's there. I personally would like to take this to counter a car, but if he's going to carry Magneto, that can be a pseudo car counter and then obviously has like a lot of value outside of that too. This is a problem when you're dealing with somebody using Magneto is if you're in a car that's going to get destroyed, you see there like as the car blew up, he also got hit by Magneto and then takes a lot of damage from the car exploding and the Magneto. So if you're in a car that's getting hit by Magneto, you want to get out and get away well before it's destroyed. Like get, getting destroyed is kind of a foregone conclusion. And so yeah, I think him being a little too attached to the car is what completely cost him that game. I, I the Magneto is annoying to play against for sure. I understand. Don't get me like, yeah, don't get me wrong. But like, if you are in a car that's getting Magneto, do you want to get out of there before the car gets blown up? Worst case scenario is car blows up, you take damage from that, and you get hit by Magneto and you're just unlocked. There's a lot of Magneto players out recently. I'm not sure what this person is doing. I think he's like wanting to get the other medallion. Maybe he's looking at map and seeing where they are. I'm not sure. This has been an interesting game though. So far I feel like we've seen people die in the cheesiest ways. Like most of the kills have been Magneto, unfortunately. And I, I think what that player should have done is gotten out of the car and then gloved away immediately. 
he got away and then gloved towards the person that was magnetoing him and so that fight is just like clearly gonna continue and if you're already so far behind on damage like that you don't want that fight to continue and yeah this player needs to get away just glove away the worst place you can be when getting magnetoed is on the ground the only time i want to stay on the ground is if i have them so weak that i'm sure i'm gonna win that damage trait if i get on someone and like hit them 200 and then they go up and magneto i might just like stay on the ground and try to kill them before they kill me but like your immediate reaction to somebody magnetoing i think should just be like not be on the ground under them what the magneto player wants more than anything is to be up in the air shooting down on you with it and see he's gonna uppercut up i'm actually very surprised i thought initially he was gonna uppercut up and then just go straight for the magneto maybe it was on cooldown he only has three uses now so maybe he had less even then luckily that gwen gets away but that was a bizarre fight this pirate is still healthy though so he's just gonna keep going uh, swapping is a little too slow if this player was faster at swapping weapons and then the gwen would have just died there because he would have gotten it out and i think had a shot off before she used her initial glove use i feel bad that person in the middle doesn't even know what they're about to deal with he's gonna go through the thing and then he's gonna magneto and he's gonna be like decently in the air from this so it like works out well or maybe not if he had his magneto out i think he could have just hit shots on that person though oh lucky he missed that because the thing about magneto which i'm sure everybody is well aware once you get hit by it it's so much harder to deal with like your movement just gets ruined it's not a one hit kill but it's a one hit and then like your game it's like potentially ruined they might have to hit you two or three more times but you may or may not be able to go anywhere when they're hitting you the best solution i've found to being hit by it is to have dashes and then do the dash but obviously you need the dashes from the green water to make that happen where that fight happened at they're like over here he needs to just put it right there and then he would have hit them maybe killed them because they just fought but at the very least unlocked them i wish i had to fight this jack sparrow i feel like anytime i fight someone using magneto their aim with it so much better it's the crown eight opponents remain person gets away with the other two medallions though they're over here that's ambitious that would be the shot he hits though i like how he has guns but i'm not sure if we've seen him use anything other than the magneto and the fists if you are someone that wants to take advantage of the magneto obviously the gloves work great for getting in the air but the magneto gloves when you have them out give you like a pseudo zero gravity effect like you'll see his jump is a little more floaty if you shockwave with that you go incredibly high and then you could just rain down shots and it's very hard for the other people to shoot you so if your entire existence is going to be the magneto gauntlets carrying both the nitro and the shockwaves could be a decent play where did that two medallion player go off to yeah they're gone they're very split if both players go for island they might encounter each other again but other than that i think it'll be a little while before they see each other i would want to go island here i, I always like going island this season just because it's easier to deal with cars i feel like up there like if they come up it's easy to emp them if i have emps and you just in general like you might get really chaotic fights on island but like when people third party you you know about it whereas like getting third partied by the magneto is also really rough like if he just starts chucking the rocks at these people here they might get no audio and then just get hit by it and then stun locked and then ggs they get away luckily but yeah i don't know if y'all have experienced that but like getting hit by the magneto from far away is like no audio sometimes I'm not sure what he wants to do i don't think he's sure what he wants to do either getting onto this mountain could be really good for him because he could like honestly magneto on island from that mountain like he could pad to that mountain and then there's another pad on that mountain that he could maybe use to get onto island if he gets decent timing on somebody up there if he like hits them with it or something you know but it seems like he's mostly down to just chill 
Which, if you wanted no fights... Somebody right there. That person walking is an NPC. If you wanted no fights to happen right now, then being on this mountain is fine. That's an AI he killed. Why is it considered a marksman rifle in the kill feed? Somebody just bowed at him. It may have been that AI. They're coming. Okay, yeah, it was here. No, it wasn't actually. Somebody is bowing at him. If that car drives over that bridge, you can start blasting them. But again, I, I think his... Right now, this player seems to want to be mostly passive. I think he needs to be more concerned about his backside, though. Like, somebody over there with a sniper could be a problem. This car pulling up on him could be a problem. That person just driving on the edge, I feel like, is less of a problem. Or less of, like, a potential threat. This person... That's unfortunate. They decide to fall damage. I was gonna say, like, them shockwaving away is, like, a good play. Just getting out of there. Whenever you're fighting against, like, the Magneto or, like, the Gloves, I, I feel like the fights can be so awkward because like, you, those items really impact your ability to move your character. So he tried to get out of there, but he just, like, gets melee spammed to death. And if you want to get easy wins in Season 3, I guess this is the strategy. Just abuse the Magneto and abuse the Glove melee as much as possible. And... Like, it wouldn't surprise me if this player wins a game. What is unfortunate for, like, this playstyle is when these things inevitably get removed from the game. If you haven't developed, like, the skills of playing Fortnite, you know? Like, you haven't gotten used to, like, using your shotgun and, like, having good movement in, in fights and, like, things of that nature. If you rely on these cheese items, then, like, you don't develop the skills to actually be able to play the game. And, like... Fortnite kind of always has cheese items in it, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But, like, that's why... That's one thing I've always stressed on my channel with, like, making videos. People want to get better, probably, if they're watching my videos, you know? Uh, if you rely on, like, cheese items like this, then I feel like you never actually are incentivized to get better. And so... I think, like, like I said, I think this Jack could easily win the game. But I think if they end up in a fight where the timing doesn't go well for them, they could also just easily lose. Like that. And even still, that fight could have easily gone that Jack's way. Like, that fight seemed like a coin flip to me. I honestly didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to say he was about to lose and jinx it and then have him just Magneto her to death. But, like, that's kind of what I was talking about. As soon as, like, an actual fight happened, uh... I approve of this. As soon as like an actual fight happened, the, the Jack Sparrow just lost, you know? Um, but it's nice to spectate someone who feels the same way about the Magneto as I do. This is gonna be a beam. I think this player wins the game now. They have all the medallions, two players remaining. They have one of them very weak and then the other one is who knows where. GG's 1v1. There's Cactus near him. Okay, he just teabags everybody, I guess. Never mind. I thought he was just being toxic towards the, uh... Magneto? But maybe it's just everybody. There's a cactus right here, though. We got all mythics, all medallions. And it's down to a 1v1. The final player may or may not be real. There's a car there. I would be scared about just full damaging this car because you don't know if there's anybody in it. Maybe he saw something I didn't. But like, I, I would be concerned that I'm like exposed to my left while I'm destroying that car. Okay, the person is here. He's gonna ground pound and then melee and then, oh, I guess. Dude, there's not really much that person could do. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful, informative, interesting. You may or may not have felt pleasure seeing the downfall of the Magneto player. And like I said, if you are interested in seeing just a very different type of content, there will be a Fortnite reload hide and seek video that I made on the Ghost Fortnite channel with other content creators. So that sounds like something that would be kind of funny and interesting to you. That video will be linked down in the description below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.